Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your host with the most, your boy Rich from Rich TV Live and Interactive with our world famous top 10 stocks for November 2022. And my crystal ball is saying we've got some big winners after a huge October where stocks had its biggest month since 1976. That's right. It's biggest month in the Dow Jones since 1976. We've seen a tough market this year. Lots of volatility. A lot of really good companies are now at really good prices. A lot of really bad companies have gotten destroyed. A lot of really good companies are now undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. And let's talk about it right here, right now, exclusively at Rich TV. Don't touch that dial. Our world famous top 10 stocks starts now. All right, here's our world famous top 10 stocks for November 2022. After a massive, massive October, we look like we may be positioned for another strong November to finish off the year, hopefully on a high note after a really tough year for trading. So my number 10 pick is Airbnb. You can see they've been much, much higher, around $193, come down like most stocks during this really tough market environment. And you can see it's done this trend down, and now it's kind of starting to trend up. So that's why we don't have it on our website yet, but we're going to create it um, now, and we're going to add it as our 10th pick for November 2022. So Airbnb currently at $109, and you can see here at richtv.io, just click on A-R-A-B-N-B, and they will have a chat room right here. Right now, you can click on Airbnb and learn more information, take a look at the chart, get some statistics on Airbnb right on our website at richtv.io, add it to your watch list, and learn more about the company. So you can get some key data right there when you scroll down and you look at Airbnb. And like I said, once we do our top 10, any pick that isn't currently set up with the chat room, we'll have a new chat room on richtv.io. So feel free to go there and start learning about different stocks. So that's our number 10 pick for November. In number nine, Target. Always been a big fan of Target and Target looks like it's positioning itself accordingly. Hit a high of $252 last year, which was the high high and where I felt like a lot of stocks were overvalued and then did this trend down right did this trend down you can see aggressively down to 136 136 is the low low that's where we always want to be buying anything and everything at the bottom and it started to come up since then from the bottom and we're currently at 164 so definitely an opportunity to maybe get it a little bit lower but i do believe there's a huge gap to fill up here and an opportunity to make some money for it to go back to 200 investors can make a nice return so that's why target is my number 9 pick for november 2022 and you can learn more about target right on richtv.io now in number 8 wells fargo well real quickly before i go there uh, Target does have a dividend yield of 2.6% as well. So they do pay you to hold the stock. And we love dividend stocks in this economic environment. So in number eight, Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo also has a dividend yield of 2.59%. So we like the dividend. You can see it's been as high as $59 last year during the market explosion. And then it's come all the way down this year to a low of 36 during the market implosion. And we believe that was a great entry point at 36. It started to come up already, now at 46. So you can see a lot of these stocks are doing these um, kind of like V-shaped recoveries where they come down and then they find a bottom and institutions, high net worth investors are starting to find those bottoms as good opportunities and they're buying the dips. And you can see that they're doing these not fully V-shaped recoveries, but they're starting to make a nice big recovery 
And there's still a little bit of a gap up opportunity here on Wells Fargo. And with the dividend, we really like them. We love banking stocks when interest rates are climbing. So a number seven Domino's Pizza during a, a recession, during a tough market environment, during high inflation, people are going to want to save money. People are going to be buying pizza. You can see it hit a high of 560 last year and currently just recently hit a low of 299 and is starting to bounce back off that bottom of 299. So as an investor, you're always trying to understand the high, high, the low, low, and where we're going. Clearly it came down, tried to come back up, came down and starting to come up a little bit, but much closer to the bottom here at 335 than it is the top with a huge gap to fill here to go back to the higher levels. So we like Domino's Pizza. We love pizza. And they also have a dividend yield of 1.3%. That's why they're our number seven pick for November, 2022. Now in number six, self. Now this is a lower price stock, currently at $4.82. You can see it did hit its high, high of 727. That's what we like to kind of look at where it's going to go in the future. And it hit its low of 476 just recently. And we're sitting right now at 482. So we're really close to a bottom. I think there's a huge gap up opportunity here. We always like to understand the gap up opportunity. So what is a gap up opportunity? A gap up opportunity is where I believe it could go, right? So when you mark off where you think it could go, let's say we believe it could go to this zone, there's a huge gap up from where we are today to where it could go. I mean, we're talking about a 50 to 90% gain to get back to those higher levels. So that's what I'm looking for, gap up opportunities. Self also has a 6% dividend. 6% dividend, lower price stock on the NASDAQ, global self-storage with a huge gap up opportunity in my opinion. And it looks like, look at this, the RSI is sitting at 20. That's the buy zone and the MACD is crossing down. So it's definitely been pushing down. And if it does do a trend reversal and come back up, investors are going to get an opportunity to make a nice return on their investment. That's our number six pick for November 2022. In number five, this is one that I'm very interested in, Rumble Inc. This is an alternative news and media platform um, for more like right-wing news and media. So if you're interested in that type of thing, I think this is one to really watch. They've got some big people that are joining them now in the alternative world of news and media. You can see they hit a high of 17. They recently hit a low of six and they've bounced off that $6 zone. And now they're up to $11.95. I know that Andrew Tate just recently joined Rumble. He's a big part of it now. So they've done this crash and then recovery currently right in the middle. And I think Rumble has a lot of potential here. So put them on your radar, put them on your watch list, relatively new stock uh, that's just formed with Rumble, the alternative news media company. And we also put content on Rumble as well. So it's one to watch. It's one that I like. They're my number five pick for November, 2022. And I'm pretty sure you haven't heard anyone talk about them anywhere else. In number three, PepsiCo, Pepsi. Pepsi had a huge quarter uh, in a world where so many companies have been struggling. Pepsi is doing quite well had a monster quarter and you can see it's really high right now, pretty much right at a 52 week high, right? So um, let's take a look at the one year. Yeah, so you can see they are literally trading at a 52 week high. So I'm not gonna sit here and tell you to buy it at a 52 week high, but be aware of it. It's a company that's doing well. It's trending higher in a tough economic environment, in a tough economy. This is actually one that's been going higher. So I think it's one to definitely watch, put on your radar, Put on your watch list. Look at that trend. Very, very strong. And another dividend yield of 2.5%. So people are still drinking Pepsi. People are still drinking beverages. This is one to watch. Doing well. And we'll be adding him to richtv.io. I really like this company. I don't own them yet, but it's one to watch. And once again, a nice dividend of 2.5% for Pepsi. Our number four pick for November 2022. Now in number three... This is one I really like, and it's very, very volatile, okay? So proceed with caution, Lithium Americas. Now, Lithium is one of the top commodities, assets that you can use, metals that you can use in electric vehicles. It is 
one of the key areas of focus for companies like Tesla because they need lithium to make their batteries. So if you take a look at this company, this is a company that's been very volatile, up and down and up and down and up and down. And it just kind of started to come back up. So I think it's one to watch, put on your radar, put on your watch list, LAC in Canada, LAC in America, big fan of them, very volatile, lots of big swings up and down, which means there's opportunity to make money. And I feel there's a gap to fill here. So there may be some opportunity for some upside. And it's one that I really like. I must remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live and comment on the videos. Do you agree with my picks? Do you disagree with my picks? What do you think about my picks? And this is my number two pick. I've always liked these guys. Alcoa Corp. It hit a high of $97, okay? It just hit a low here of $33. I think that's an opportunity. They also have a small dividend of 1%. And you can see much closer to the bottom than it is the top. It's currently sitting at 39. It hit 33 and it's been as high as 97. So I'm looking for these types of opportunities, quality companies with some good upside. It didn't have the greatest quarter. That's why it's come down. But I think that's going to be a buying opportunity. And it has a massive, massive gap to fill here. And that's what I look for. I like to look for companies that I think have a gap to fill that are quality companies that have huge growth potential that have been higher, that have come down and have a chance to go higher when investors feel like they're undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. They're going to come in, flood it, and it's going to go higher. And I think Alcoa Corp is set up for the win. My number two pick for November 2022. And in number one, I know this is Amanda's, uh, one of Amanda's favorites. I've never talked about them before, but I'm going to talk about them now. Aritzia. So Amanda's compared this to Lululemon, a great Canadian story that's done quite well. And Aritzia has been doing very well in a tough economic environment. So you can see the high, high is $60. It's at 52. So it's pretty close to the top. Why? Because it's doing very well. Strong earnings, strong growth. Still a lot of room for growth here, in my opinion, in this company. The symbol is ATZ in Canada. And you can see it has this like V-shape recovery where it came down to like from 60 to like the 30 zone and it's recovered and very, very strong recovery. So definitely one to watch, put on your radar, put on your watch list, a growth company that I think has a chance to grow bigger and stronger. That's why they are number one pick for November 2022 and beyond and in america the symbols a t z a f on the otc market so not even listed on the senior exchange yet i'm sure that's going to change pretty soon you can see it's hit a high high of 49 in america hit a low low of 25 and currently sitting at 37 and i believe it's a quality company that everybody should be aware of aritzia a t z in canada a T Z A F in America. And once again, all of these picks will be listed on richtv.io. Go to A T Z A F, Aritzia, click on Aritzia, and then all the information will pop up. You can then add it to your watch list, and you can see here some more information and some more stats on Aritzia. All right, hope you guys like our top 10. Love to know what you think about our top 10. Do you agree with these picks? Do you agree, disagree with these picks? We got some dividend stocks. We got some lower price stocks. We got a lot of higher price stocks and we got a lot of quality stocks on this list. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners. We bring in the news. We bring in the analysis, CEO interviews. We bring you podcasts, trending topics, and we bring them to you first. What do you think about our top 10 picks for November, 2022 and beyond? This is your host of the most, your boy Rich from Rich TV. And I'm out. Thank you.